<clears throat> One of these days, I will figure out my streaming pipeline. I'll figure out how all this is going to work to make it look all professional and streaming-like. Uh, today's not that day. Uh, however, today is the day we play some pinball. So, I don't know if everyone knows, but I love pinball. That's no indication of how good I am at pinball, but I love playing pinball. Uh, I was recently in Las Vegas, and I visited the Pinball Hall of Fame. Um, it sounds a lot more luxurious than it is. It's very much a small warehouse in a industrial slash commercial district of Las Vegas, uh, where you can play a lot of pinball tables. Uh, some some real great, some real greats in there. Now the problem with it, with that place, is that uh, not all the machines are in good nick. Uh, I definitely played a few tables that had a few problems, a few toys weren't working. Some of the uh, pieces just weren't right. So to that end, today we're going to play the Pinball Arcade. This game was developed by Farsight Studios uh, in Big Bear, and they are considered one of the best pinball video game developers. It's a very, very specific market they deal in. But what they do as part of the Pinball Arcade is they take real-life pinball tables, the kind we find at only the best most real arcades, uh, and basically create digital recreations of them. Uh, all licensed tables, all real tables, These all every table you find in this game is a real table. Um, I don't know if anyone's familiar with the Pinball FX series. I've played a bit of it, I'm not a fan, it doesn't feel quite as right, and the main thing is that just the tables aren't real. That's why this, this game's one of my favorites. I spent a fair, a fair bit of money, not a ton, um, you have access to every, actually all of the tables on this list. Uh, the thing is, you can play them free, but only up to a certain score threshold. So if you start, if you start kicking ass, it'll stop you and say, "Hey, you want to buy it?" If not, it'll kick you out. But you can, you can definitely try all these tables. And like I said, these are all real tables. A lot of them based on movies, Dracula from the 19, 1990s. Uh, but these tables over here are ones I do own, and I'm. I have played most of them, not all of them, I uh, just thought I'd kind of show a few of my favorites. Um, let's start with, I don't know, okay, so we're going to start with Fan of the Opera. The thing about this table is it's not a great table, um, but for some reason it's one of my favorites. It's like hypnotic. The art is really good. The music's catchy in a way that I keep humming to myself when I'm not playing this game. Um, having said, it's, it's kind of... It's feature light. There's not a ton you can do as far as gameplay is concerned. Um, you can unmask the phantom on the back glass up there. I've never figured out how to do it. But that's the big secret. Uh, the thing about this table that kind of makes it not a great table is it's a bit of a money suck. I've seen a lot of reviews say that this table is one of the least favorite because of how greedy it is. They call it a greedy table because the space between the flippers is wider than normal, and the the uh, drain lanes on the right and left side of the screen or on the table are huge. They will end up there for no reason. Your ball will end up there for no reason, and you will die and you lose for no reason. Especially like down that center, down the space between uh, the flippers, it's wide. It's wider than most tables, so it uh, seems like most folks when they buy this table or have this table, they replace those flippers with more regular flippers, so they don't die so quickly. Also, this game uh, came out, it's a modern enough table where it's got some cool looking tricks and looks good and things like that, but uh, it's not modern enough where it has a ball return. So most pinball tables where if you whiff early enough, right out of the launch, it'll spit back the ball and give you another shot. Uh, this table doesn't do that. It's old enough where it still has one and done. You drop, you die. So it's... I can see where folks come off saying it's a greedy table and you will lose often. But for some reason, I just can't stop playing it. Like, I feel like if I had to own a pinball table, this is the one I want to own. 
So yeah, like I said, I like pinball. I'm not great at pinball. I had a good run on this game yesterday. I'm just going to take my word for it, because it's probably not going to happen here. The good thing about this is that I can put this table all I want and not have to pay, worry about paying anything. It can go ahead and be a greedy table because I'll just keep playing. Uh, my least favorite thing about the table is that scream, uh, Christine's scream every time you die. I assume it's Christine. But you can interrupt it with a flipper as it's happening. I love that. See, I could do nothing about that. That's just going to happen a lot with this table. Either way, I wanted you to see it. From what I gather, the only place you can play that table in Southern California is at an ice skating rink in Irvine. Or at least in Orange County. I saw a website that, was, that looks like it's actually kind of out of date. But it's at an ice skating rink in Irvine. And I've actually been tempted to go out to that ice skating rink just to play this table. I'm having a lot of luck with that random, the, the random jets kicking that ball in the Oregon. I've never gotten both balls in the organ. That's a fluke. I don't know why I like this table so much. It's the music. I think it's the music, it's the art, it's just the look. It's hypnotic. Like, I, I swear, for the first week after I first played this table, I played it every day. So I got an extra ball there, so when I die, which... The drain lanes are huge. You're gonna die. But I gotta sing again. I got an extra ball. But like I said, uh, the studio is in Big Bear, and they make painstaking recreations. They have documentaries on their websites for how they create these tables, and they literally get a get the machine and photograph every element of it, and take it apart, and emulate the ROM for the machine. So it is as faithful recreation as you can get for pinball. Uh, the problem, I, the one thing I will say that is not a faithful recreation of pinball is the ball never leaves the table. So if you ever play real pinball, you'll see sometimes the ball will jump, it'll skip lanes, it'll do whatever. Because it's a ball. It's not glued to this it's not glued to the table. It's gonna go where it wants to go. That never happens in this game. That never happens in this version or in pinball arcade. It never leaves the table. So in that in that sense it is a idealized version of how the table is meant to be played, because I don't think designers make their tables with the intention that the ball's ever gonna leave the table. But for what it is, and for the, for the money, you're saving a bunch of quarters so you can play perfect recreations of your favorite pinball tables. That's the second time I've... That's... Two runs in a row where I've gotten both balls in the organ is... A fluke. The physics aren't, like, perfect. Uh, having just recently been to Pinball Arcade, I can tell you that it doesn't play exactly like that. Wow. I lost all three balls in two seconds. That's a new song I haven't heard before. And I like it. And I want to hear more of it. Having recently been to a pinball establishment, I can tell you that the physics aren't quite right, but they're close enough. They're probably about as good as you're going to get in the digital version of pinball. Especially compared to, like, pinball effects. This is way better. And normally I hate sitting through the match for a free game daily at the end of these digital versions because I get free games all day. But I will always sit through the Fab the Opera's music just because it's just catchy. I don't know why. I also, uh, this game is also I think on major con I mean, all major consoles. It's on everything. It's on phones. I have this game on my phone. I prefer playing it on my PC because I have a controller. And I need buttons for this. But the version on the phone will do you in a pinch. I'm pretty good about getting getting a shot into the organ. As long as I don't have multi-ball. If I have multi-ball going on, I can't focus. Like, For those who know, when you get multi-ball in pinball, you don't look at anything else. You're just... You look at your flippers and just make sure you hit the balls when you can. 
You're not timing anything. That's going down. That's going in. So if you ever hear me in real life kind of hum to myself or sing this to myself, you know it's from. I recently looked up how much one of these tables goes for. Uh, I saw a guy selling one for $3,000. And I very seriously contemplated getting it. I just love this table so much. It's... I don't. And it's purely for, like, aesthetic reasons. The art's great. The music's super catchy. It's not a common machine. You don't see it very often. See, that just went down the flush lane real, real easy, like. People are saying that those lanes are huge. And I believe it. So, I'll go one more one more set of balls on this one, which I think I just did. Nope, nope. I'll go one more set of balls and then we'll switch tables. played yesterday, I got, I nailed that, that ramp several times in a row, it was pretty sweet. Like, I actually managed to finish. So every time you go up the ramp, it'll, on the top part of the screen, you'll see it says Phantom, it'll light a letter. And I managed to get all the letters filled. What the balls? What the balls? That's annoying. I love that when that happens. When he's a jet and bounces into the organ. I love this music. It's not based off the. If you notice, like it's not really based off the Andrew the Weber, Andrew the Weber production. So I think it's what most people think of when they think of the opera. But you can see on the bottom down there, it says it is based off the book by. Gaston Leroux. So, the Phantom has a metal mask and it comes his entire face. This game was also originally made by uh, Data East. This is, I think, the first Data East table that was put in Pinball Arcade. It now says Stern, and I'm wondering if that's... if it was like a rights transfer, or if Stern purchased the rights for this table, so now they technically own it. I'm not a huge Stern fan. Uh, for those who don't know, Stern is they kind of make all the modern tables. So if you ever go to like round one and see like ACDC or The Walking Dead or Metallica or Star Trek and the modern pinball tables, most of them there's a good chance that they're all Stern tables. There's not very many modern pinball makers anymore. All right, uh, let's go with Theater Magic. I played this. The this is probably one of my favorite pinball tables, um, mainly because I grew up with it. I played it the most. My older brother worked at a pizza place in Murrieta, and they had this table. So when we go to visit him or eat there, I play this. I played this recently at the Pinball Arcade or the Pinball Hall of Fame, and their machine was kind of busted. So I'm pretty good at hitting the the trunk off the right flipper and I kept hitting it at the at the arcade in a real table and it never flipped so I've, I know that like four times and it never spun for the magic trunk. to hit the trunk so my key to hitting the trunk is at the end of the right flipper or just above the right flipper you see this line you can see where my finger is just beneath the word illusions in that blue diamond if you wait to the end of that line and flip. More often than not, you'll get inside the... You'll hit the trunk. Or at least get the proper vicinity. I'm not as good at getting it with the left flipper. For, I guess, obvious reasons. Lock is lit. Lock is fire. I 
I'm really bad at hitting specific objectives when I'm being told to hit specific objectives. Um, while we're on this table, look at the flippers and see how just kind of longer and more pointed they are compared to the Phantom of the Opera table we just played. And that's what people are talking about, is there's less of a gap between them. So, you have more chance to save your ball. Theater Magic was definitely a more modern table compared to Phantom of the Opera. There's, it's got a ball return if you whiff immediately. It's very forgiving. But it's considered one of the top, like, top-rated pinball tables of all time. Theater Magic. There's a ton, there's a ton to do. And a ton of objectives. There we go. Multiball. Nope. I lied. Alright, so somebody shoot the center ramp and I bet you it will not hit the center ramp. I'm terrible at hitting objectives when I'm being told to hit them. Especially bad at hurry up. Anything, any hurry up in any game, I'm terrible at. Alright, so this is our trigger multiple. Luckily for me, that target now on the box is magnetic, so even if I get it close, it'll usually trigger. You have the magic. Getting it down the tunnel is not as easy as hitting the magnetic target. This is just a cool table. They really go, they really go for it with their magician theme. Where'd the ball go? Multi ball! Now I'm never gonna be off the trunk, because he told me to do it. I'm not even looking at the trunk anymore, I'm just. just aiming, just flipping balls. Watch, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna get a single ball on the trunk. Oh, that was close. the sample at the Pimble Arcade and it wasn't working. I'm curious to know if the Pizza Place is still there and if they still have this this table. This is one I would love to own. But from what I gather, owning pinball tables is a bitch because they've got so many, so many parts. Luckily in this age of 3D printing, most people can just actually make their own parts. Which is probably not legal, but whatever. My machine, I'm gonna do what I want. Here we go. Multi ball! Multi ball is really easy to get on this table. However, doing anything with multi ball is always a challenge. Dude, for real. Get in the damn trunk. There we go. I love when balls get stuck by the jets and just keep getting that multiplier. That was my bad. I fucked up. Jackpot, jackpot is lit. Jackpot is fire. Black, black. Jackpot is on fleek. I'm gonna lie, this is a sick run. Not even trying. I need to hit the spinner on the the right part of the middle ramp. I'm not gonna do it. I can do it all day when when I'm not being told to, and I'm not under the gun. There we go! So if you see on the center part of the, the table, there's a set of illusions. 
you have to... Those are different objectives. So you have to... Complete all the, all the magician's tricks for the grand finale, which I've never done. I've never spelled out theater. I've never gotten all four uh, magicianship dealies. Dude, making it rain extra balls. Well, thank goodness for that because I just whiffed. Did that in real life? I can't do it in. There we go. Why is it a haunted basement? I never got theater before. I would love to shoot with the trunk, except it's a shit's being dropped by the jets. There we go. You wish you guys are witnessing some rare stuff. Because I'm never this good. Pocus, pocus. That's a bummer. That was a sick run. Damn! Scores fire. Although, this is also one of those modern ish tables where their scores are ridiculously high. Like, you'll be dealing in the millions just regularly. Like, a billion is not that big a deal, unless I post a good score, then you'll see. Wow! That's... You witnessed it! You witnessed it! Top score! Step to me! I feel good about that. Let's play something else. Alright. What else? Uh, Terminator 2. Great one. I also played this at the Pinball Hall of Fame just the other day. And that went better than Theater Magic because most of its parts worked. Uh, except for this, the launcher gun. So, playing this digital version as much as I have, I can tell you that the launcher gun should hit the second target. I need to turn on the lock. It should hit the second target on the lights, but the trigger gun on their table hit the third spot, or the second one from the top. So I got good at it, eventually started nailing that shot all the time, but I was just so used to the middle. This one's also kind of a tricky table because not a really tricky table, but it does actually a thing where if you're paying attention at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a pin beneath the you'll be back thing. That stays up the entire time. So as long as you're not a spaz like me and wait for that thing to wait for the ball to bounce off that pin, it'll probably be okay with the ball going down the pipe or going down the center lane. Now look like a jackass because that didn't work at all. But there are those times where as long as you're not a spaz, you'll, you'll save yourself. Direct hit. Take your best shot. Fire at will. Great shot. On some of the license tables, they've had to... So, I'm so glad they have Arnold for this table because it would not be the same without him. On the Abbott Family table, there are obviously many actors they had to get the rights for. So, Angel Houston, and, like, you know, Raul Julia, and Christopher Lloyd, and, like, the kid who plays Pugsley, and Christina Ricci. Uh, I think they got all the rights to all of them except for Christopher Lloyd and the kid who plays Pugsley. So for so for their inclusion of the game, they had to kind of alter their appearance on the table. So they're, the characters are there, but they don't look like the actors that much. But those who know 
already know who those people are. Get that, that's hot. It's supposed to be. As will. But I'm so glad they got Arnold for this because it just would not be the same without him. They have his digitized voice and appearance. We whiff it up. Out of the multi ball, just because that's what I do. It's really hard to talk and play pinball at the same time. Like, I'm pretty bad at talking on my live streams to begin with. Trying to play pinball is even worse. See, told you, if you don't if you're not spaz, that can save you. A fun fact, I once wrote a 10-page paper on the artistic and cultural significance of Terminator 2. I think I got a D on it. Because most of it is bullshit. But I did it. I really like Terminator 2. Alright. Hell yeah! Just means more points. That was dope. Kind of bummed they're not playing like you could be mine or something like that. Get out. I guess it's a reasonable facsimile, but it's not really. It's not really the same. Yeah, that that lane always messes me up, especially when I don't react. Lies. That was a trash. That was a trash run. Don't respect that. That was that wasn't very good. Unless I got first place, then. Hail to me. I don't think so. I'll be back. High score by default. How would you like two more? So we'll look at Adam's family and we'll go meet even Mad Madness. You don't wanna you don't wanna do your showstopper three quarters of the way through. Uh, Anna Family. They launched a Kickstarter to fund this because they, because of the rights they'd get for El Julia and Angelica Houston, they had to raise a lot of money to be able to pay those estates. Well, pay El Julia's estate and pay Angelica Houston. I, I obviously grew up with this table, but at the same time, I didn't play a ton of it, so I don't have as much love as most folks seem to have for this table. I'm also really bad at tables that have more than two flippers. I'm really bad at using the top two flippers. Uh, you can bump the table with the right ballistic, but I'm terrible at doing that. It's easier to do in real life. If you can imagine, because you'll just shove the table. But obviously you do it too many times that it'll it'll say you're closing the machine and you'll forfeit. I'm in that graveyard like nobody's business. I also didn't see this movie. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen the first Adam Sandler movie, so I don't really have like a ton of reference reverence for the movie. Maybe there's some jokes here that I'm not getting. Some callbacks to the movie. They need to make a Princess Bride pinball machine. With I know there's a company in Europe that's making a Big Lebowski pinball table. When that ever comes out, I'm gonna play the shit out of it. I hate that power function. So there's a magnetic magnet beneath the table, right where it says the power, 
And so it alters the trajectory of the ball. Sometimes it can really mess you up, though. Like, Theater Magic uses the magnet to save the ball sometimes. Uh, Dracula uses the magnet to drag the ball across the table. But the power just affects the trajectory of the ball, and it's just kind of annoying because you don't know where it's going to go. I'm not 100 sure how you what the objectives are on this table, so like I recognize it's a classic table. I know a lot of people love it, and it's cool. It's just I don't have the nostalgia for it like most folks do. I played a little bit, just not a lot. Not enough to memorize it like the theater magic or even Terminator 2. I don't. I know thing comes out of the top. That pink box at the top. And pick up your ball. I still don't know how to get it to come out. I don't get this reference. I always assume Gomez is a weird dude. I think I died three times. I'll try this table one more time and then we'll go do something else. Just set high scores all over the place. But none is none is sick. None is ill. That's theater of magic. Shit is on fire. Shit is lit. You know what? I want to do this again, this one again, so we'll move on. We'll do two more tables because this one was kind of a short look at. Adam's family. Ah, that's not a bad man. It's not the last one. Uh, I'm looking at old ones. So I played Black Hole a little bit at the t at uh, Pinball Arcade. It was fine. I usually do better on the game on this than I do in real life. But this is a Gottlieb table. For those in the know, Gottlieb does all the old tables. There's definitely a point where they stop making, stop making tables, but they're very much of the the early era of pinball. And that being said, it's obviously not going to have a ball return because it's so old, or a a ball save. But of all them, I love the the jets on this table because they have this really loud pop, like that. This table's dope because it's got a... whatever. Fuck that. Try that again. Uh, this table's dope because it has a, a another playing field beneath the table. So if I can get into the top left corner, it'll go beneath the table. I'll play down there. Love that sound. It's probably the only reason why I bought this table. There you go, now I'm playing beneath the table. And so I have to score or do well enough or get to a certain target so I can get re-entry, which I didn't do, so now it just drops the ball into the the fail state. But if you do well enough down there, then it'll save your ball and you can continue playing. Well, let's assume do it again. I'll do better than I did last time anyway. On the top, it'll say gate closed. Uh, when I when I win, or when I do it correctly, it should say gate open. And that means I successfully achieved re-entry. sound system obviously couldn't handle multiple voices because every time something happens, the music stops. It barely counts the music. This, the ambient sound effects. Yeah, that's right. 
give me points. For no reason. No idea what that did. Hell yeah, alright. Gate open, sorry. I will get re-entry. I need to step, I need to scratch my face. I'm too afraid to, to screw up here. Not like I had a choice on that one anyway. Hell yeah. I've set four or five high scores so far this stream. That's what's up. Alright, now we're gonna move on to Medieval Madness. This is one of my favorite tables. I think it's considered one of the top ten pinball tables of all time. According to the IMPBD, the uh, internet. No, I guess it wouldn't be IM. IMPBD, Internet Pinball Database. They post reviews and they kind of have a catalog for every pinball team. Pinball. I went to go say machine and table at the same time they came up with team. Um, machine table ever made. So you can go check that out and see what people review certain tables, which is how I found out that Fan of the Opera is considered a bad table. Uh, fun fact about this table uh, Tina Fey did a voice for one of the princesses on this table. She is the voice of the Valley Princess. You'll know what I'm, I'm talking about when you hear it. This table looks great. So much to do. It's just real lively. Now it's never gonna happen. You're right, I can't, because it's a timed attack. She is! That's right! Black, black, black! While I was at the Pinball Hall of Fame, me and Vith saw this. Um, if anybody knows what a main cabinet is, it's basically a cabinet, an arcade cabinet that plays a bunch of emulators. Like it's an emulator that plays arcade games, so it's not the, it doesn't have the actual board for arcade pieces. It just has the software, so it just emulates the game. It doesn't, it's not a real version of the game, a real copy of the game. But they had like what amounted to a main cab. Or pinball tables, like they had a, a TV screen that was that stood in for the pinball table field, and another screen that stood in for the back glass, and you could choose through a menu what pin like table you wanted to play. Uh, it looked like crap, and I'm curious, but I'm curious to know where they got the reproductions of the tables, like if it was from Pinball Arcade or somewhere else, because they didn't look quite as good. The graphics didn't look quite as clean. I am the king of 
it was wild to see. In any case. What about right next to them? What color are they? I need to take a nap. I've been up since 11.30 last night. And it is. I don't know, I've looked at a clock, but I can't do that right now because I'm playing pinball. Haha! Eleven twenty-seven. So I've been up for twenty-four hours. Wait, no, that doesn't sound right. No, eleven, twelve hours, twelve hours. So that's not that bad, but still. Just I'm so lonely up here. Tripping, tripping. This lack of sleep got me tripping. I only had three hours of sleep before that, so I went to bed at eight thirty. Woke up at eleven thirty. Went to work. Came home. Took up my pants. Turned on some pinball. Big dragon, but I bet you're a bigger. Oh, I get it. Sex jokes. Yes. Sex references. Yes. Is it gonna get weird? The I don't want the pinball table trying to get sexy with me. There's a pinball table called the Bride of Pinbot. The sequel to Pinbot. And it features a robot that, over the course of the game, becomes more humanoid and has just her mouth open the entire time. Like she wants to blow you, and it's just uncomfortable. So I have that table mostly because it, if you buy, if you to play the pinball table centaur, you had to buy a pack that had both of them. So I have Bride of Pinbot. I don't want the Bride of Pinbot because the sex robot freaks me out. I need to learn to speak slower on these streams. We're watching these back. I do tend to talk really fast. I talk mic speed. Unfortunately, I also talk with mic clarity. That's just a random, that's a random piece of trivia right there. <laughs> random words! For real, those words are randomized, so it just kind of says whatever it wants to say. And I, I would do that. I would fuck up my multi immediately. Not even looking at the targets, just <laughs> just listen to the things explode around me. Did I just like pool? Smack the ball into the troll? That's tight. It's lit. It's fire. Just jackpots popping off. Yeah, don't you forget about it. Should always be popping off with this table. It's just this was just effortlessly fun. And more multi ball. <laughs> Everyone loves multi-ball. No one's definitely afraid of multi-ball. No one is f super stressed out with multi-ball.
Fuck. Get away from my castle, you dirty rat. I'll have to watch this footage back and figure out how I'm getting jackpots. Because, to my knowledge, I'm, like I said, I'm just staring at the flippers and just hoping I don't drop, don't drop the ball. I'm gonna make you look like an accident. <laughs> look again! Okay. Does it involve multi ball? Oh, this is like a hurry up thing. Yeah, I'm terrible at this. Well, I will say that was that, uh, that run was sufficiently lit, sufficiently fire. So let's see where I land on this high scoreboard. Top score, because of course, with all those jackpots, I'm, I'm kind of not surprised. That was crazy. Well, that has been uh, Pinball Arcade. Thank you for all for watching. I'm gonna take a nap. I need to sleep. Talk to you later. Why am I saying? Why am I ending like a phone call? I need to figure my shit out. Later. <laughs>